welcome back guys to the tutorial uh, well in this tutorial we are going to learn how to edit elements in the table this is a very very easy process however uh, it depends on the way you do it if you are going to edit a batch of uh, things then I, th I think it's going to be a bit long and it's a bit complicated process however if you if you are not focusing on performance of the application and if you're just uh, thinking of you know making things work then it's a really easy solution for editing things inside the table first of all I'm gonna drag a button uh, and what this button is gonna do what this button is gonna do is that you have to select a row and, and then you click this button and it's gonna prompt you for the name and country again and once you enter both of them uh, it's gonna edit those parts of the uh, table. So let's go. Uh, let me change the name just for just to be extra. Uh, edit and uh, well, yeah, that's it. Just just to be simplistic. Now, in the uh, action performed method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to take I'm going to create sorry I'm going to create another object array. However, first of all, let me show you how how easy it is to uh, make if you want to just make things work and if you're not focused on application performance well uh, the, the thing is that you say table one dot get model so you're getting the model that has been inserted into the table and just say set value at uh, a value so you say well uh, the value actual value you're going to set and uh, then you say the in uh, the index of the row and the index of the column. So let's do it. Uh, the thing. Okay. So string country name. Okay. Name equals new. Okay. Sorry. J. Okay. Let me do this. Let me just copy this. I'm gonna say string country name. Yeah, so now we, are, we have got the name and country name from the user by showing the input dialog, and then we can just say jtable model dot get model dot set value at the table the name is, which is this is the data is the name row index which is the selected row so selected row is uh, jtable jtable one dot get selected row. Uh, hold on. Yeah, get selected row and uh, zero. So this is the first one. And uh, I'm just going to do this. Copy and paste this again because it's a waste of time. Country, country name. Get selected row and number one. Now, if you run this, uh, as you remember, we had to first instantiate it. Month on UK. Add a row, John. And oh no, that's not USA, that's Australia. Okay, let's edit it. Uh, John Australia. There we go, we have, we have edited this. Now, uh, let's go back to the board and let me show you how to do this. You know, the, I mean, if you're too focused on performance and stuff like that, and if you're going to be dynamic, and if the array uh, is being shared by multiple um, pages or contexts then it's better to have to do this the traditional way I mean I think this is probably faster however I mean I see some glitches here because I mean if if you probably add another row then it's not going to read so to do that we are going to have to do this traditional way the traditional way to do this is basically having temporary array right, as we had before And no, I mean uh, yeah, no. Sh oh, sorry, confused. Okay, so the traditional way to do this is is the same, but having data j table one dot get selected row, and uh, and then the column name zero equals name data j table one dot get selected row. Names, uh, and then as 
I mean, as you do it always, create table one dot set model. This is another way to do this. I'm just going to run this quickly to show you how this works. So, enter your name. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, of course, of course, it's going to give me an error because I haven't selected anything. I'm just going to add a row. John uh, Smith. Oh, sorry, this is country. Uh, or you, Australia. Oh no, it's not supposed to be Australia, it's supposed to be US. Okay. John, yes. Okay, there's an error here. I'm not sure why that is the case. However, uh, it's trying to convert an object here. If you see the error, it's trying to, I mean, you, you get this error when you're trying to convert an object, an object directly. So, while wow. oh okay <laughs> uh, okay uh, well that's a very very stupid mistake it's supposed to be country name not column names because column name is an array while country name is a is a string so oh, see so, well that I mean if you observe that's the basic technique how you solve uh, an, an, an error. Just look at the code, go through the code again and well, yeah. month and UK and I'm gonna add a row again. John or Australia. Oh no it's not in Australia. John is in the US. Okay, edit. John uh, US. There we go. Edit it. The exact same effect, however, two different techniques to do the same thing. That's how we do edit, and and uh, well, yeah, that's how we do it. So uh, I hope you guys understood. Oh yeah, and one last thing: if you wanna uh, check if the selected thing, I mean, if if the user has selected anything, then the best way would be to copy this and if say if uh, not equal to minus one or oh, greater than equal to zero. Select something. So, well, I'm just going to run this code, and if you click edit now, it's going to say you must select something, boy. Well, that's it. So, I hope you guys get this, uh, and I hope it was easy to understand. If you don't understand anything, feel free to comment down below your problem or anything, and I'll try to solve it as soon as possible. Till then, bye bye, and and in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a video on how to delete stuff from the table. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye and have a great one.